Jimmy K here, Metal Voice. Look at this. The Metal Voice shirts are now on sale. Just go to the video description to find out on how you can purchase one. Metal! Alan, once again. Once again. <laughs> once again. Udo. Yeah. Rick Schneider. Oh, there we go. Here we go. We know we're your two favorite Canadians here at the Metal Voice, and uh, yes. we're, we're happy to have you back. It just yeah. seems like every six months we got you on. You always have something going on. So Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, we're yeah. glad. It's great album. Great album. Game over. Yeah. And hopefully it's not game over for you. I mean, uh, no. we got more. Yeah, a lot of people were thinking, you know, who game over, last album, last tour? No, it's, uh, I mean, the, the title of the album came uh, during the recording session. You know, a pandemic and a lot of things that was game over. We couldn't work like we want. And uh, there was a different recording session going on, you know. And then in the meanwhile, I don't know who it was in the end. It was in the, in the beginning some German words, you know, and then we said, oh, oh look, it sounds like game over. I mean, a lot of things are game over, you know, during the pandemic. And uh, yeah, and then we said, well, great title for the album. Let's do it. October 22nd via AFM Records. That's when it's going to be released. You know what? You don't stop cranking out the music and not <laughs> just cranking out the music, but good music. I mean, it's just, what, yeah. what, what's your secret sauce? What, what's your secret? Paul, I don't know. I mean, have good people around you. They're coming up with good ideas. And mm -hmm. also on this album, I mean, uh, that was really band working, you know. But it was like the beginning was the same. We're collecting ideas. And then, then we normally start uh, working together in one room, arranging with the producer in one room. Uh, face to face, but uh, <clears throat> pandemic, uh, that was not possible. So that means we did everything, everything over Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, WhatsApp, you know, we have always a, 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 a conference going on. And it took a little bit more time, you know, but in the end, of course, we had more time. <laughs> and we were, we were not in a hurry. So, and I mean, the whole thing is like, um, um, yeah, it's a band album for me, you know, so also these two new members, D. Demers and, and Tilden Hoodrup, they came up with really good ideas. The first time I was, wrote all the lyrics together with my son, and also Sven was also involved in some melodies, you know, uh, vocal-wise, and he said, yeah, maybe you can sing it in this direction, this direction, and um, of course, Andre, I'm together with him now for 10 years, uh, uh, there was no lot, not a lot of talking, you know. He knows what what uh, <laughs> when, when he comes up with some ideas. Yeah, but you know, also uh, everybody was really open minded. Also, also me, you know. For me, it was like uh, with all these young people around me, they give you, they push you, and um, you know, they're coming some fresh ideas, more a little bit more modern stuff. Also, you know, and then. Of course, I'm not a guy to say, okay, it has to be in this direction, no other way, you know. It's, uh, I also said, okay, I'm open-minded, and I was listening to everything, and the result is, game over, 16 songs. <laughs> yeah, 16, I know. And we were just talking about that before you joined us, how, how long the album is. Yeah. <laughs> Some people said, oh, in the beginning, also the record company said, wow. It is a lot of songs that we said, yeah, so what it's a value for money. So, um, <laughs> I mean, we, we like all the songs, you know, and uh, that's why we said, no, we want to have them on, on, on the CD. And um, yeah, so I think, uh, I hope the people will enjoy the, the, the whole album, you know. So did, did, I'm, did, really, I'm really happy with it. Did Peter Baltus uh, con contribute to the, like, I didn't see his name there. I'm not sure if he did or he didn't. Did Peter Baltus contribute to the album? Peter? No. no? no. Okay. All right. That's, no, the, old that's, the, that's old the old gang. gang. That's the old gang. That's the old gang. You got so much music coming at yeah, you. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. No, no, I just no, want to, no. I want to confirm that. That's all. I just want yeah. to confirm. No, no, no. We were working together on, on the uh, Dirk Schneider and the old gang. Nah. So, this is the new uh, gang. This is the new gang, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, it's a new gang, old gang, yeah. But, uh, you know, that was more a charity thing, you know. I mean, for 
Stefan Kaufmann came up with that with this idea and said, "Hey, come on, uh, you know your crew of UDO and also the band members. I think they need some money." And then we said, "Okay, we have this song over where the angels fly." And then we had also not not, not finished song, but two more finish, um, two more songs. They were normally planned for the We Are One album. And then we said, "Okay, come on, let's do it." We did, everybody did it for free. And then AFM said, oh, well, also a very good idea. They was making a contract for this small EP. Yeah, so we, did, we, were, we were lucky to give the, the, the band and the crew some money. And the reaction, of course, was nearly the old exact stuff going on, you know, like, uh, and uh, <clears throat> yeah. And then the people said, oh, it's an album coming. Uh, poof, definitely not at the moment. I, don't, I would say, if we have time, if we have um, enough ideas and we can do something in between, I would say maybe one day we can do an album together, you know, but it's more a project. It's like, uh, yeah, what we say, it's like uh, fun to make music, you know, so there is no really a new band is coming up or something like that. It's anyway not possible to go with this lineup on tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so, nice so, to hear Peter singing again. You know, we haven't heard him sing yeah. since the old Accept album, so that was nice. And then the female vocalist you have was outstanding on that. So yeah, I mean, also had my old guitar player, my yeah, oh, my old guitar, uh, guitar player Matthias Deed. You know, uh, we've been always over the years in contact, and then um, then he said, yeah, why not? Hey, I didn't play the guitar for fifteen years. Let's let's try it. You know, yeah, so. And it worked. It was a lot of fun, good songs, and the people really liked it. So, why not? And and this game over in the UDO catalog. What what are we looking at? Album number 19, 20? Oh, geez. No, seventeen. Seventeen. I was close. 17. I was close. Close. Very close. <laughs> so it's amazing yeah. that you're still referred to as the ex vocalist of the cult band. Except is mm -hmm. the is the marketing literature we got. It's you know seventeen albums in. That's a whole career on its own. Yeah, I mean, yeah, what can I say? I mean, in a way, I'm lucky that, can, that I can do it, you know. Of course, my, my voice is still working. And, uh, yeah, I'm healthy enough. Uh, everything is fine. I mean, next year, I'm getting uh, <clears throat> 70 years old, oh, uh, you know. <laughs> and uh, so, I mean, you know, a lot of people were asking me, oh, you wanna, maybe you re want to retiring or something like that. I said, no, come on, this is like bullshit. Retiring? <laughs> no. I mean, you know, I always say as long as I'm healthy, as long as my voice is working, still we can still touring all over the world. It's no reason to stay home and drink coffee and watch the news, you know. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> so in other words, you're going to keep going until I don't know. Until you feel that, okay, yeah. I can't do this anymore, you know? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that will be, I think I've, I've, I, I will be the per first person uh, they know that you know to say maybe okay, that's it. But I don't know. Maybe another ten years. I have no idea. Okay. You know, the first the first interview we did with you, I asked you what's the secret of your voice, and you said I don't know. I, I guess I'm lucky. Is that is that still the case or? I don't know. It's it's really like uh, you know when when I would when I did the vocals in in, in 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 studio. I mean Stefan Kaufmann did the whole recording for this album. And then he said to me, this is a miracle, this, 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 this voice, you know, he's, I mean, he knows me since um, 81, 80, you know, with my vocals. And uh, he said, it's amazing, after all these years, now you can sing higher than a couple of years ago, you're nearly like high as we, what we did on Breaker album, you know. And he said to me, this is a miracle. I don't know, I said, uh, yeah, what can I say? I have no idea. I can do it. That's it, you know. We're not going to question it too much, exactly. Okay, some some song, some ideas for the songs this time around, like a song like Holy Invaders. What's mm -hmm. what's fast? To me, it sounds like something off Faceless World. Um, what was the idea behind that song, Holy Invaders? Oh, that, the, the lyrics. Holy Invaders. It's like you know, it's at at at, at the moment very. Uh, uh, yeah, let's say if you look to Afghanistan, maybe it's a good example at the moment, you know, mm -hmm. they are dictate the people what kind of religion they have to, to do, you know, or to do, yeah, and this is not possible, you know, I mean, everybody can choose his own religion and can do whatever you want, 
And that's the whole meaning behind holy invaders. Okay. Alan, what do you got? Which one? Well, it, it, I just want to know, uh, is it really game over for the earth here? I mean, some of these songs, uh, we got to start questioning what's going on. Yeah. I mean, of course, I mean, it, uh, it, 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 it's quite uh, popular at the moment, this, this, all this word, uh, game over. I mean, we had a big flood here in Germany, uh, in Netherlands, Belgium, uh, Italy, Switzerland. And also all this fire, what's going on in the south of Europe, in, in California, in Siberia and Russia. You know, it's like, um, if we are not, I think if we are not uh, taking care of a lot of things, then uh, we have a big game over, you know. Yeah. So, a, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Marching tank. Marching, yeah. is that you? Is that, self, is that you? Yeah. Marching, are you the marching tank? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. I mean, that was also funny, you know, uh, when when we had this song, this heavy song, this heavy riff, and then then Sven, my son, said, ah, you know, they call you always like a German tank. So why, why we are not uh, write some lyrics about this? But you, you are the German tank, and you're always marching forward, you know. I said, okay, why not? And that was the idea. All right, right, right. <laughs> And then don't want to say goodbye. That's always what I look for on the UDO albums. That that ballad that you're adding more and more. There's at least one in every album. And here's another. Classic and even example. in the accept days, even like you know, with uh, you know, on uh, trying to think, yeah, on, on balls to the wall, right? You had winter. Yeah, about the winter dreams. Yeah, yeah, winter yeah, yeah. dreams. Yeah, yeah. You've always loved the ballads. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't want to say goodbye. It's uh, on one hand, a very personal thing. Uh, but you can uh, use this, I don't want to say goodbye, also for many reasons, you know. Is somebody dying, you don't want to say goodbye, you know. And or is it like your girlfriend leaving you, your wife, uh, boyfriend, mm -hmm. or whatever. Or maybe you're on holiday on a nice place, and you have to go home, and then you say, oh, I don't want to say goodbye, you know. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, you can use this for many reasons, you know, but in a way, uh, it's uh, really personal stuff. Yeah, you, you know, I, I would find, like, I listened to this whole album, it really has classic Udio, it has classic accept, there's a lot of classic accept moments there too, right, Alan, would you, would you, would you say there's a, Oh, there's there's no tracks, yeah. accept i hear accept sound you know like the the music sounds very accept and it also okay. sounds like classic udo too it's, yeah. it's, who, it's, who, is, who is that band classic except and can you ben ah okay yeah i remember <laughs> the, yeah. Old accept, the old yeah, accept the old accept okay good <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> i mean of, of course uh, the vocals are of course always remind of course in a way uh, the old uh, accept stuff you know but um also some rhythm stuff, you know, groove stuff, of course. Uh, I mean, definitely Andre is also very much into that. And that was also interesting, also the, 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 the Dunners, you know, he was also like, yeah, that's great, you know, I loved it. And um, so, I mean, the whole thing is a really a, a good mix up, you know, there's a lot of different stuff going on, fast song, mid-tempo song, up-tempo song, ballads and pfft. So the whole the whole thing, you know, and uh, yeah, and that's also that's why I like the, the album, you know, a lot of melodies on there and really good guitar work, and uh, yeah, but can I say <laughs> I'm happy? What about Sven and the, the younger generations of musicians? Because I hear a lot of like. It, it's it's uh, trying to keep the classic sound, but it's a, a whole new generation of playing uh, that comes. That's what came across for me on this album. Not only is it the high standard of every UDO album, the consistency of every UDO album, but uh, it, it, it's got this whole new kind of younger generation feel to it. That's, 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 I feel the same, you know. This is like, you know, that was also why I was really open-minded to let them work, you know, let them do. And... Uh, uh, but I was, it, they were not going too far away from, from the, the typical UDO stuff or accept stuff, whatever. I mean, uh, but they, they're interesting. They do little things different, arranging different, coming up with different ideas, you know. And then if, if you put everything together, that, uh, that's a feeling that is something fresh, you know. It's really fresh and young blood. And yeah, that's, that's why I also am really, really happy with everything. You know, it's amazing. Did you, when you first did Animal House, the first Udio album, 
Yeah. Did, did you think you were going to do 17 albums after that or 16 albums after that? Not really. <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's like such a lot, so many albums ago, right? It's amazing. It's just. Yeah, it's like, uh, I mean, now a real, uh, real studio albums, it's now 27 together with Accept albums, you know, wow. just studio albums. Wow. And then so many things, other things uh, around, you know. <sighs> It's a huge catalog. I mean, really huge one. Is it? it, it, it I, I think I was speaking to David Reese. He told me that, but you were recording the Animal House album at the same time they were writing Eat the Heat. It, it, was that in the same studio or was that at the same time? Mm, no, that was on the album uh, when we did Mean Machine. They were the mean same, Machine. That mean was on the, they've, they've been in the same studio. We're on Studio 3 and they're Studio 1. There that, was really, that was really funny, yeah. Isn't it weird? It was, was it awkward back then? Like No, it was, was not really weird, you know. I mean, we said hello once we were sitting together drinking wine and stuff like that. It was really <laughs> easy, easy going, you know. Nobody was really like uh, angry or whatever. It was like, yeah, okay. And then we did also on Turn, what is the song, Turn the Wheel or something like that of Eat the Heat. Mm -hmm. with, with the whole gang of UDO did the, the, the chorus, you know, I was singing in the studio. Oh. So... I mean, no, that was at this time, that was in a way easy. I mean, okay. easy going, you know. I was satisfied and I think they was also satisfied what they're, what they're doing, you know. So here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you think about it over that, like you said, that, that whole career, you, you know, going through grunge and the new metal and then the death metal and, and <laughs> everything that's in between. And you guys have always, you know, done such consistent work and high quality work throughout the Yeah, but battle. I think, I think uh, 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 the, the fans appreciate it, you know, stay for what you are. And I think this is the, uh, also an important thing. You know, that was happened, I go back a little bit to accept, I was not really, or not, I'm not, was not really agree uh, 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 what we did on death row. That was, you know, they they tried to be really modern. I said, come on, guys, this is wrong, you know. Also, only one guitar player, it was, uh, no. And in the end, I was right. So, but anyway. Uh, that's there, there, are, there are some good songs on Death Row, like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, they're really. It? Yeah, they're, they're, I agree. I know what you're saying. You know, there was missing something, the second guitar. I agree with that, but there are some really good songs on that that's, too. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's true. They are really good songs, but there was not the sound anymore, really. There was something missing, you know? Yeah. Especially, yeah. It's, especially when we was going on tour with Death Row with only one guitar. Everybody said, poor, no, please. Uh, but anyway, uh, talking about the future. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> what, about tour what about touring? Okay, so uh, touring. another live stream like you did. Uh, yeah, this? yeah. What is that? Touring? I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> no. forgot. You're getting comfortable now. You're getting comfortable. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, um, so uh, it was not normally I'm on tour in Russia at the moment, but also they moved it now to, to uh, next year, February. Um, and it looked like that we also have to cancel the European tour now. It's, uh, you know, it makes no sense. So that means we move everything to next year. And I think in Europe, it's getting better and better, you know, everything getting more and more normal. And yeah, it's, uh, so uh, touring, yeah, touring plan is at uh, the beginning of the year, we go to South America, then February, Russia. And then after Russia, we do the whole European tour until, I don't know, middle of May. Then coming up a lot of festivals. And uh, so at the moment, I just get a, a schedule for next year. In September, we are coming to the US and Canada. That's okay. the plan. All right, good, All right. good, good. good. How, you know, actually, how you guys have such a big fan base in, in yeah. Russia. Yeah, what, yeah. what do you think the appeal is for Russians to that they love your music so much? Bah, that's a good question. Uh, Andre told me once, I, I was asking uh, Andre, you know, of course, he's Russian. You know, I mean, he was uh, watching the first tour in Russia when he was a young guy. He was standing in the front of the stage, you know, and he said, 
the meaning uh, for UDO is the, the whole atmosphere is like the, you have something, a Russian soul in, the, in your music. Okay. Don't, don't ask me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean, this is like Russia. It's amazing, you know. I mean, <sighs> unbelievable. You know, I'm no, it, not that many bands can tour that much what we can do in, in Russia, you know. It's a uh, very, very, very interesting, the whole... Yeah, they appreciate UDO very much. Okay, of course, I was singing in Russian, blah, blah, blah. I mean... It helps, it helps. It helps also, yeah. yeah and yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, Russia is a very important country for us. That's cool, that's cool. Alan? No, again, it's a, it's a great album. And, uh, you know, like we just spoke six months ago about that live album that you did. And, they, oh, yeah. you know, you are such a high during that interview. Saying, no, we, guys, we're talking know, about this is the feeling of playing live finally. And now now we're live we're in Bulgaria, old, live in pattern. Alan, live in Bulgaria and We Are One. Right. Those are the two albums that like just and now this one. Are you writing another album now? Like maybe <laughs> since as you're waiting for the next tour? I don't know. No, it's not that <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, live in Bulgaria, that was also something special for us, you know. I mean, the, the promoter of Bulgaria, the, the key came up and said, yeah, I would love to do a show with UDO. And we said, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You know that we have pandemic and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, we will, you will see. And then in the end, he came up, okay, everything is prepared, everything is fine, we have a we, uh, 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 everything is secured, you know, in, 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 in hygienic stuff and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then they showed us some pictures of the venue and that was like for us, nice. wow, that yeah. looked great, you know. And then we said, okay, come on, if we have the chance, we want to record this and film this, you know. So, and then he came up and said, yeah, no problem. We have a, a team in, in Bulgaria, they do this, they film this. Recording, we did it on our own. Yeah, and then, I don't know. I mean, we were thinking, okay, maybe 500, 800 people. And there was nearly 3,000 coming, you know. Wow. I was like, yeah. whoa, what is this, you know? And then we was asking them a couple of weeks later, what there something happened with some in infections? And they said, nothing, you know. Oh, good, good. So, good. I good. mean, so it's... So the, your next tour will be, uh, come see Udo, you won't get COVID. 100% guaranteed. 100% guaranteed. Fine and tested. <laughs> yeah. But I think, but, you know, I think next year, I mean, um, and it will be more and more normal, you know. And uh, I mean, of course, at the moment, a lot of bands are touring in, 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 in America, you know. Yes, like, America. Uh, like, Canada. Uh, not in Canada. Not really, not much. Oh, no, I, uh, no, I had a concert that just got moved back from November. I think it's gone to May of next year. Ah, uh, so that is in, in a way, you know, some bands was also playing, doing something here in Europe and cancel, cancel, cancel. And uh, I think also we have to cancel and put also everything on next year. So that means next year, Everybody is on tour. Everybody's yeah. on tour. Yeah. That's what I keep saying. <laughs> the last time we interviewed, we were lucky enough to have Sven with you. So how's that dynamic? Is he is he the one? Hey, come on, let's go, Dad. We, we got to get more and more stuff out, or you're or you're the one saying, Hey, Sven, get on board with me. And he, you know, who, put down the, the Xbox. Dynamic? Put down He's the pushing Xbox. Who? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but with, with Sven, I mean, of course, uh, uh, but he has a big problem at the moment about the flat, you know, his house is completely gone, the studio is gone, he cannot live in the house at the moment, and uh, uh, so they have to renovate everything, and it takes some time, maybe he can move back next year in March or April, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, this is completely... That's because destroyed. of the flood? That Sorry? was the flood? Yeah. Unbelievable, you know, I mean, pfft. so, and um, yeah, and I mean, yeah, but Sven, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, at the moment that we cannot work together, you know, normally I go sometimes to the studio uh, in his house and do something, you know, like working on some stuff, but at the moment also gone. And uh, yeah, but Sven, Sven is really into everything, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, let's do this and this and this. But, you know, it's also, that's also a good thing about the, the young people, especially uh, the Dummers and, and my son. They are really into all that 
uh, I'm too old fashioned, but also in this social media stuff, you know, what we have to do and this and this and this. And this is also good, you know. Um, yeah. For me, it's like, okay, what I have to do? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, but it's, it's good to have these young people, you know, so they really know exactly how that works. And yeah, it's good. All right. Here's my last question. Your your memories of singing. I just heard this the other day. Born to be wild with a uh, Raven. Oh, with John. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Your memory. Your quick memory with that. Like that's where you were singing really high. That was like the highs. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was alcohol involved. You told us there's lots of alcohol involved in that. There was a lot of alcohol involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was. Uh, <clears throat> it was uh, also not planned to do this. You know, we was in the studio and they are oh, just jamming. And Michael, Michael Wagner, you know, he was pushing the button, you know, record. <laughs> and then he said, yeah, sound is great. <laughs> and then Raven, Raven said, yeah, can, can, can we put it on? I said, yeah, come on, why not, you know? That was uh, really in one, one take, of course. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's pretty amazing. One yeah. shot. All right, yeah. that, that's pretty much it, unless you have something you want to add, uh, tell everybody about the new album. Yeah, what can I say, the new album? I mean, I think uh, it's a value for money, <laughs> first, first you know, of all. I think, uh, or I hope that the people like the, the new album, you know, and it's, I think it shows us the whole, the whole thing of UDO, you know, it, what different stuff and uh, yeah. I, that's uh, the only thing I can say, hope the people like it. And uh, so we'll see then, what's going on with touring and then definitely we play a couple of songs also of the new uh, game over album perfect so october 22nd on afm records yes it's it's in a week in a little bit or uh, like yeah. 10 days yeah nine yeah, days, ten, nine, days. Nine, nine days nine days yeah. yeah 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 well thank you so much udo for uh, jumping on once again i am right behind well, thank you <laughs> i am right behind you <laughs> You know what, what that is? The lyrics, the lyrics is like, you know, if you know it's somebody behind you, you know, it's like we called it in, it's in maybe the same word in English, I don't know, talking, you know, yep. when always people go on your nerve, you know, and they say, hey, come on, where are you? You know, go on your phone and hello, right. you know, and then hello, who are you? <laughs> so, yeah. That's well, there, there was, also, there was also a Superman thing in there. There was a Superman. Yeah, yeah. Midnight Stranger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's um, also something, you know, the people, the, somebody, uh, he feels like a stranger and he doesn't know really what's going on. Maybe I'm Superman or what, you know, it's like, uh, had a little bit to do with the pandemic stuff, you know, feeling like a stranger. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Udo. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have a wonderful day and we'll talk very soon, I'm sure. Yeah, well, we'll you know, when you release your next thing in three months or four months. So. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you never know. <laughs> <laughs> always, always great talking to you. Always a pleasure. Okay, always yeah, nice. it's always nice. Okay. All right, thanks, Edo. Okay, take Bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.